So, today, we're going to be talking about what I think is an extremely underrated character when she first came out. While I do agree that she is much weaker now, she was what I used on my team to clear almost all the content in the game. The character we're going to be talking about today is Tomoka. Tomoka runs a similar role to Akko, where she plays as a generalist support type character that gives several bonuses and can do several supporting jobs. This makes her incredibly nice to work around, especially when we get to her exclusive talent, adding another huge tool to your team's arsenal. Once you are able to run a team around her though, she becomes an incredibly powerful tool that can assist in wall breaking or add survivability to your team. With that, so I don't have to keep being incredibly vague, let's move on to her abilities. Tomoka's first ability is Soothing Firework, a zero cost skill that lightly recovers allies HP for two turns. This ability doesn't really heal that much and is mainly used when you have nothing to do or to top off your units. However, it lasts two turns, meaning you don't have to actively try to use it every turn, giving you off turns to use other skills. Do remember that this can be dispelled, although who would want to do that, come on. Tomoka's second ability is Fan Dance, a 5 cost skill that reduces your team's damage taken for one turn. This ability stops you from dying. That's all I really got. If you want some tips for using this in Mirage or Burst Link, you can generally count or guess when a climax skill will come out, and either way, it'll add 5 points to your climax counter, both defending you from climaxes and giving you the ability to turn around with a climax skill usually. It also helps if you can't specifically seal an enemy or can't guess which enemy will climax. Tomoka's climax skill is Pure Angel, a 6 cost skill that hugely buffs all allies damage dealt. This is cheaper than other climaxes because it doesn't do any damage, which also makes it better with a lot of climaxes because you might be able to do a full combo of plus attack and another climax a turn sooner rather than climax minus defense climax if you're looking to try to win a little bit faster. Since it's hard to justify using Tomoka only off of this, we'll skip the overview and crosses to get to the talents. Tomoka's exclusive talent is Shooting Guard. Between every turn, you'll be able to gain an extra skill point in exchange for your team taking more damage. You should run this because this will be her main use, getting bonus skill points and playing a more offensive style with skill points and climax usage. In general, when it comes to her other talents, you'll probably want to run all defensive stats along with her exclusive talent, since upgrading her attack doesn't really offer her much at all. If you are using her as your main healing stick through her support, you can also choose to run percent attack and percent crit rate for those juicy heals. However, if you're just using her more as a generalist, you want to run a shooting guard, percent HP, percent defense, and percent arcane defense. Crosswise, she has some okay crosses, but neither of the supports nor crosses can realistically be justified. Her first cross with Kirino, Happy Cleanup, is a 4 cost skill that deals damage to all enemies. Kirino herself isn't a great unit with average stats and only frailing the rear enemy meaning this cross isn't generally recommended at all. Her second cross with Enju is a little but powerful, a 5 cost skill that deals damage to all enemies. Enju uses a defensive ability similar to Tomoka, which is a 4 cost attack down. If you really need an attack down just because it's cheaper and might want to use the cross skill once in a while, Enju will be an alright choice. Personally, I think it's strictly better not to worry about the crosses that Tomoka has, since her main purpose isn't damage, but utility. Therefore, having another support that provides utility will be better in general. Personally, I find a Mashiro, a healer, or a purifier to be better units to add as a support to Tomoka because of these reasons. Mashiro adds another way to gain more skill points and give your team another attack buff if your climax skill is down. A healer would actually give Tomoka a burst heal, and no matter what, it would be better than her own heal anyway. Since Tomoka does not have a Purify, you can also run a Purifier in this slot. Although you are doubling down on utility, with Tomoka's generalist approach, it helps fill up a lot of slots for your team. Equipment wise, I would recommend you either run the Gamer Gear set or the Art set. Generally, most of the equipment doesn't work that well with Tomoka, and these are just her best choice by default. 
With them, you want all defensive stats, as again, offensive stats do not give you huge bonuses. You can run crit rate and attack rate if you're mainly using her as a heal through your support. It also helps if you can activate it very often, and gives an even bigger boost to your survivability if you just use your second skill the turns you can't activate this. Now that we're all here and done talking about her abilities, with her exclusive talent, you want to run compositions that either need a lot of skill points to function, or can possibly use a lot of skill points when the time seems right. Great examples of this are teams that need to use their skills along with a heal. For example, Alice Cross, Asuna S2, and a heal, which is 7 skill points total. It also helps in clearing content when you need the extra skill point and or maybe miscounted, or you need the extra so you can use a high cost skill like Mikoto and Kuroko Cross. Then, when the time is right, you'll double up on Climax usage with Tomoka and blast the enemies with a 50% boosted Climax skill. Then, you could play defensive when you expect an ultimate, and this shift in playstyle is what I think made Tomoka a viable part of my original team composition when originally clearing the game. I do think that she is quite a bit weaker now, especially since with the new releases, Holo is going to give us a lot more skill points, but has to actively give them and most units not using 4 or more skill points, it became much harder to justify using her as more time goes on. However, if you do get her in Burst Link or as an early unit, give her a chance, she's pretty okay. With that, let's go to the live team building section. So welcome to the live team building section where I build a team and explain my reasoning so that you guys can build a team that's probably better than mine. So obviously we're going to be starting with Tomoka, the theme of this video, so with Tomoka, we're going to add in some supports here. So with Tomoka, because she already fills in so many roles, we don't have to fill that many roles left. We just need a Dispel, a Purify, and a Damage Debuff Remover. So with that, we can add in Leafa, and we want to probably add in Ryuji instead of Uihara, because Ryuji actually provides more intrinsic value with a shield by reducing damage taken with it. So with that going on, I actually think I want to switch these two, and the main reason why is because I think a really good slot to fill here would be Kimono Asuna, and the reason why is because since our, we want to do a lot more damage with our team, Kimono Asuna is the perfect choice. She does really high damage, and even when flipping through both of her skills, she still does pretty dang well, and you don't even have to anymore now with Tomoka. Also, their cross skill provides a wound effect, and with that wound effect, I can add a unit that's only slightly slower than Asuna to deal massive burst damage. So we are looking for purifies and two, sorry, dispels, and two really strong dispels I could say that we could add in would be either the Shauna Yukina cross, right, right here, World Order Protector, which removes two buffs and every two buffs and deals about, you know, 400% damage, 450%, yeah, 450% damage, which is still pretty dang good. And guess what? With the debuff from the wound, we can add in a Muramasa onto our Yukina and deal massive damage. So as long as that we are slower than the Asuna, we are going to be getting two turns of bonus damage no matter what, or even slower than the enemies generally. So, another really good unit to put in would be, obviously if you don't have Shauna, would be Miyuki, because she already has a Dispel. And with that, we want a high cost skill that we can use that is very spammable. And obviously, we could either use Kuroyuki Hime, or we could add an actual AoE used skill, like Zero. So, you might be asking, so what happens if we don't have Kimono Asuna? There are obviously some other choices we can use. Like we can use Arino, Arino over here, somewhere over here, sorry, here. And we can look at her crosses over here. And she crosses with Shauna, which is okay. <laughs> you know, add in a Shauna, do some damage. You're, you're almost never gonna use their cross anyway. But this would also work very well too if you're looking for high damage and high utility. You don't have to use Shauna, you can use anyone. You can use like Alice if you really wanted to, Dual Blade Kirito. Anyone fills these slots as long as you fill up some more utility that your team could use. And with that out of the way, 
It was very simple, team building with Tomoka. You generally just want to add more utility or add more flat damage to your team since Tomoka doesn't add any flat damage. And since Tomoka already fills so many valuable slots, you have more slots that you can work with. And you can work on building around more utility with that. So, yeah, I'll see you guys soon and recording the last part of my video. Thank you guys. With that, we've reached the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching. As usual, I'm going to be streaming on Twitch. This time, I'm actually going to be streaming Crossing Void. I promise, guys. I'm going to be better at streaming Crossing Void more often. I'm sorry. So, yeah. I'm going to be streaming Crossing Void on Twitch. Link down below. Or you could type in my YouTube username, which is Yanagi Yume, on Twitch. Also, guys, I'm thinking about adding another game to my channel. An actual game, officially constant uploads with it so i'm thinking about either arc knights or sword Art online alicization rising steel so yeah if you guys want let me know down in the comments or just let me know in twitch chat doesn't really matter either way so yeah thank you guys for watching i love you guys very much and yeah i'll see you guys later